Attack of the Tesla Cybertruck. Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to our channel if you're new here. We're here to make you question everything that you've ever been taught. Before we get into today's video, I want to take the time to say thank you to all of our 800 subscribers that we have gotten. I really, really appreciate you guys. Um, I just want to also let you know that I'm sure you guys know because you watch the truth seeking content. So I'm sure you know this by now, but our page, our channel is not a channel that will ever be pushed out. At least I don't really don't think so, or that you'll ever like get on YouTube and see on your home screen. So if you guys want to keep up with us, um, I would definitely suggest subscribing and hitting that bell icon. So you get notified whenever I upload new videos and um, I would just check our page, like, I don't know, maybe once or twice a week, just in case that they don't notify you because some of this stuff they don't want getting out to the masses. And I think we all know that. So make sure you're subscribed and make sure you like this video for me because it really helps the algorithm and it really helps get these videos out to as many people as possible. So everybody go ahead and hit that like button and let's get into it. This video was made strictly for entertainment purposes only. This is speculation. It's my opinion, my thoughts. None of it's factual. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and say that I'm an actress and I'm practicing my movie lines. Hopefully that's good enough. Now let's get into it. Okay, so my husband and I were sitting here watching YouTube and we were watching like a Tesla truck review. I don't really remember why, but we just were. And they were talking about how like inefficient as a vehicle it is. Like it doesn't, I don't know, it, it's not really meant to be a vehicle, I guess. Like it doesn't have much storage room. Um, the gaps in between all the panelings, there's like uneven spaces and I don't know, it's just like really heavy, made with like stainless steel and everything bulletproof. All the paneling on the outside of the car is like very, very sharp pieces. Um, if I can find some clips, I'll insert them so you can see what I'm talking about. But like the guy like poked it with his finger and it like left an indent. Like they're drastically sharp. It's just not very like, I don't know, feasible to have as a vehicle, I guess is the word I'm looking for. And it's not just like that one review that said this. There's like several that we were seeing, right? Well, then you know how like Google or anything is once you look at one thing, that's like all you get notifications for and all the videos you see pop up. So then I get on to, I don't know, TikTok or Facebook or somewhere and um, I see a video similar to this video and the two together just got my brain rolling and we need to talk about it. So obviously from the thumbnail, you can see like attack on the cyber truck. And I know probably some of you think like, oh my God, what Katie, what are you doing? What are you talking about? Like, have you lost it officially? You good? <laughs> I'm good. Hear me out. So they're not reliable. They're not feasible as vehicles, right? Like they're just not like there's no trunk space. They just don't work. They seem to be breaking down. Like, I don't know. It's bulletproof, like steel on wheels. It's like indestructible, basically. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen, but like when these things crash, they catch on fire most of the time, not all the time, but most of the time. And it's like an electrical fire that you can't put out, right? You have to just let it burn until it's done burning. Okay. So essentially you have this like steel car, if you want to call it that, on wheels. Okay. And it doesn't even look like a car. It literally looks like a fucking missile or a weapon. And then all the paneling is crazy, like sharp. It's a smart car that can drive autonomously without anybody like controlling it or searing it, right? And then it's bulletproof, made of steel. Don't know if I already said that or not. And they come flying down the street. Mind you, a Tesla cy Cybertruck can go zero to 60 in like two and a half seconds or something, I think. So you got this bulletproof steel missile car coming down the street directly at you with no driver inside <laughs> and then if it crashes you have to just let it burn until it goes out because it's an electrical fire and like you're just not going to put it out like that's just what they said you have to do when these things crash you have to just let them burn until they're done cute and it goes zero to 60 in 2.5 seconds and all these other things but you know i'm sure everything will be fine like i can't be the only one who finds this sus right like, attack of the motherfucking Cybertruck for real. 
And then I don't know if you guys have seen that new Netflix movie, uh, Leave the World Behind. If you haven't, go on any social media, like, ever, and you'll see 100 million people talking about it. So then we're not going to do this. You can find the information, or you can go watch the movie. So I'm not going to talk about that here. But there's a scene in that movie where all the Teslas have, like, taken over the roads and crashed into each other and are blocking all the exits from the city, essentially. Like, they're trapping these people in and then forcing them to start a civil war amongst each other. Well, not forcing them, but that's what they want them to do, right? Like, come on, guys. You have to see it, right? I can't be the only one that sees it. All the paneling, sharp as shit, bulletproof, steel, heavy, zero to 60 in two and a half seconds, crash and you burn until you go out. I don't know. I don't know. My mind over here is going crazy. And I need your guys' opinions for real. But, you know, I'm sure everything will be fine. I'm sure it'll be all be fine. It'll all be okay. I'm sure of it. I'm sure it's just my crazy mind. And this is just, like, you know, another coincidence. And nothing will ever happen, right? I'm sure we're fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. At least I hope. And I'm not ever going to buy a Cybertruck. I'm not ever going to buy anything Tesla. So hopefully my neighbors don't either. Because that's a scary thought. But... I don't know. I just had to let you guys in on where my brain's at because, like, yo, it makes sense, right? Because I think it makes sense. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think because I need to know. I'm very, very curious. So please leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. And I just needed to share my opinion with you guys because I'm over here going wild and I need to know your thoughts. Make sure you guys are subscribed to our channel and you hit that little bell icon so you get a ding notification every time that we upload a new video. And make sure you're following us on all of our other social media accounts for more videos just like this. All right, that's the end of today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one.